The story of me volunteering for this flight uh, started with um, hearing about the student asking for help. A few days later, um, I was surprised when I received a call from the company that they are planning to do this volunteering flight to evacuate um, the passengers from Wuhan. I felt the urge and the need to operate this flight. It was kind of a, a message for me that it's time that the country or the company needs me the most. Before going to Wuhan, we did some training here in Abu Dhabi to be safe to reach Wuhan and come back to UAE without getting infected. I was on a call with my mom. She was happy I was going to do something, but my dad had no idea about it. My dad was advising me to stay away from airports and stay away from, you know, these areas, you know, crowded places. And that's when I was about to tell him that I'm going to operate such a flight. As of Etihad, we were a team of 20. The flight route was uh, going from here to Hong Kong. And we stayed there on a layover for 12 hours. And then we flew to Wuhan, stayed on the ground for five hours. And finally, we headed back to Abu Dhabi with eight hours and a half flight time. Well, I'm preparing for landing. So I'm going to the cabin. There's one lady with one infant and two child sitting to each other. She was stuck in Wuhan for almost two months. She was saying that, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. I couldn't see their faces because everyone was wearing masks and gloves or whatever. I couldn't see anything, but I could tell from their eyes they were very happy. To be able to hear somebody and you actually believe them for thanking you for doing something, it's, it's, it's a beautiful feeling. It's a reward for me. You know, I will never forget that. When we arrived finally in Abu Dhabi and I saw the guests there exiting the aircraft, I felt the pride of completing my part of this mission and they are in safe hand after the tough time they have been through. I feel so proud of myself, I feel so proud of our team, for everyone. As an Emirati, I feel proud to be part of this humanitarian mission. And seeing my country is not only supporting the people in UAE, but extending their hands outside. If there is a message I would like to send to the world in these difficult times, that message will be, stay strong.